Now, a critical skill for any athlete that's going to be successful is stress management, basically beating the jitters. Champion athletes have repeatedly told us it's important that they mentally prepare for competition and psych themselves up. However, they've also told us that it's important that while you psych yourself up, you don't get overly charged or nervous and psych out. Another way to think of this is to think of an emotional temperature that you work best at. So if you go to the doctor's office, they take your temperature and they measure it. And if it's 98.6, then you're healthy. Now, in reality, everybody's a little different. So some of us would be 98.6, somebody else might be 99, somebody else might be 98. But each of us has a best emotional temperature that we're healthy at. And what's interesting is, when we look at athletes mentally, each of us has a best mental temperature that we're best at. Some players play a little better when their temperature's a little warmer, others when it's a little cooler. But what's really important is that person has to be at their best temperature for best performance. What's your best emotional temperature for you to perform best? I usually tell my best friend about media because I'm not too juiced up, I'm not too warmed up about winning, but then again I'm not too down about losing. I would say that I'd be probably right there between medium and medium. Probably medium, because I, I feel I can still do better, but you're always nervous, especially if it's like a big competition or um, a rival that you're playing. or Just right a little bit above medium. The best emotional temperature for me would be very hot. I like to be pumped up, fired up, ready to go, really energetic. When I get to the meet, I have to be really pretty hot in practice and warm up, and then to get all fired up and get good dives. But then the meet, I have to cool down and relax a little bit, and then I perform well. Not everyone has the same best temperature. It's more of a zone of temperature versus one specific point. When you are out of your best zone, you don't do well. When you're in it, you perform well. Once you know what temperature you work best at, you must then learn how to regulate your emotional temperature. Just like you use the heating and cooling controls in your home. You need to turn it up sometimes and then you need to turn it down sometimes.